Although the northern continents were separated from the southern continents, there were some migrations where some organisms were able to cross the seaways which divided them. Somewhere between the late Cretaceous and early Paleocene, a number of placental mammals traveled from the northern continents and reached Africa, and from Africa, a number would then go to South America, such as the rodents related to capybaras and primates, which would be the ancestors of the New World primates. It is not known whether the earliest anthropoid primates originated in Africa and then traveled to Asia or originated in Asia and traveled to Africa. During the late Cretaceous, the South Atlantic Ocean separated South America and Africa. Australia and Antarctica then split from South America, and a number of these continents were now floating islands, isolated to varying degrees from other land masses. Thus we see that many of the groups of organisms found on these continents during the time from the late Cretaceous through the Miocene and Pliocene would be endemic to certain continents found only in South America or found only in Africa because of the isolation of these continents. India was joined to Asia about 25 million years ago. The Middle East joined Africa to Asia about 20 million years ago, and South America joined North America about 4 million years ago. This ended this period of isolation, and species were able to migrate between the continents in a way that they were unable during the early part of the Cenozoic era.